All right, 8 p.m. time, gentlemen. Alright, so this is a Nobody has a Hey, what is up guys? Control here, and today's video is going to be on an Exodia Mage deck. This one specifically uses the quest up in the way gate. I know that I hate it, but I kind of wanted to try it out because I figured it would be a little bit stronger than playing the non-quest version with like Artificers, Cones of Cold, and like Blizzards right now. Simply because Magic Trick and Primordial Glyph can give you a little bit more flexibility in your kind of gameplay style and allow you to deal with a lot of the things your opponent throws at you uh, in kind of a fashion that you wouldn't be able to if you just had Artificers, Econo Cold, and Blizzards. You still obviously have the core of like the draw package with the project, uh, the Cold Light Oracles, Novice Engineers, Mad Scientist. Difference is you get a questing explorer as well, instead of like a loot hoarder, just because, I mean, you do have the quest, which is pretty sweet. But overall, the gist of the deck is uh, the exact same. You basically go for an Antonidas plus four apprentices and then infinite fireballs for about like 200 damage or so a turn is kind of the idea. Playing this deck though, I definitely did not have the best day. I slept about four or five hours a night before, and I would say it was kind of like super brain lagged all day. So I kind of had a pretty bad stream in general, I would say. Uh, I didn't play that well for a lot of the games, so I don't have a ton of content for you guys. I have two games that I, I thought were relatively interesting. I didn't want to post any ones that I thought were like kind of bad. Enjoy them. Uh, but yeah, kind of an off day. I wish I had more for it. But, uh, you know, everybody has shitty days. And yesterday was definitely one where I was a little bit out of it. So I'm going to hope today is a little bit better uh, as far as getting the content goes. And I mean, the games are still cool. So enjoy. Check them out. Have a great day, guys. See ya. Can you get a warrior? Uh, don't know about the novice keep. It's probably okay. Just says draw a card on it. So I mean... Something that'll take a swing of the Nizos first mate weapon, the Rusty Hook, or maybe kill Patches or something. Which is okay. Is the game still bugged out like it did yesterday? Uh, so far it does not seem like it is. Someone's gotta lead the charge. Okay. I don't really know how exactly we're going to not die by turn 4 to play for Nova Queen Doom, but um, it's probably what we have to do. Someone's got to lead the charge. Alrighty, well, I guess we get Nova into Doomsayer Coin Nova. That's actually not that bad. I wouldn't really argue that it's that good either. Like, ideally, we just like get Volcanic or sorry, Primordial Glyph into Volcanic Potion or like Magic Trick into Volcanic here, something along those lines. But um, yeah, I mean, definitely not what we were looking for, but that's okay. Okay, well, that's useful at least. But not really the one card we were looking for, for sure. Speak briefly on the general development direction of the game the past few months. Haven't really been following much. Uh, so this past expansion to Set of Dragons heavily power creep basically everything they've done. Uh, a lot of the cards are ridiculously strong compared to what they've previously been. And that's, that's kind of been what they're trying out, at least for this expansion. But uh, they, they basically try to make really, really strong, powerful cards that make people kind of want to play the game. Just based on uh, their power level alone. I'm going to go Nova Coin Doom. Job done. Technically went Doom Coin Nova, but you know, you get the gist of what we're doing here. So so in general, I would say that their, uh, their kind of uh, idea with the game is kind of pushing more limits than they would previously. As, uh, as a designer team. So that was Jerry Bear. We're assuming he's good, man. It's a clear board. Wow, Macho. Thanks to the host, too. You guys are really generous today. Thank you so much. 
I think we should play Arcane Intellect to look for a 2-drop that we can just jam here. Like the Science Man card. Uh, this is perfect because we have a nice barrier which will then save us 8 health here. Should be pretty sweet. Do so much noise, man. Happy to answer uh, any and all questions. This is Galakrond is upgraded once. He's going to face. This guy's been watching the YouTube videos, man. It's only been out for like two hours. He's still jamming them. The magic trick. We can't really play the apprentice here. Banana, you can't hear power, hear power. I think we should just trick first, see what we got. Flame cannon or projects. I think it's cannon. Decent flame cannon. Uh, so with the buffoon, we're one coin or one randomly generated card off of having time warp active. To get any of the revenue of a display purchase, I probably would get like 50 cents if you use the link that I have. We have Frost, so technically the quest would be done now. If we wanted it to be. We definitely don't have an OTK. So whenever we play The Apprentice, like, all this stuff is just good to go. So I don't think we really want a banana for no reason right now, because we're just missing some damage after the time warp turn. So I'm going to play the Buffoon, probably, and most likely just hear Power's face. Okay. What's an Invoke? Uh, invoke is part of Galakrond. Uh, there are four different classes. Again, a Priest, Rogue, Warrior, and Shaman. And it just activates the hero power of Galakrond when you invoke. It's basically a new keyword. Double cannon and then two big minions. Ooh, that's scary. That is really scary. Not what I would call ideal. So we still have a nice block up. Uh, we can Arcane Intellect. Should maybe Sim first though. Molten Reflection and Glyph. So we're very close to the OTK. Pocket Galaxy Explosion, Polymer 4. I mean, this just got zero to play, so we should pick it because of that. He has a weapon, so if it pops us at one, he can always kill us a turn after. Good to know. So with two apprentices up, this quest costs three mana to play the time warp with. Bad, it's going woman. How are you doing? So we popped at one, so unless we can freeze his face somehow, we're gonna be in for a world of trouble. So we're gonna need to draw like an apprentice or a nice block or a reflection, I believe, here. One of those three. Project. Project is technically for a year. Okay, well we should draw first, see what we get. Another free draw too, okay. Glyph, Doomsayer, we can glyph into more things to say draw on them. Book of Spectres. This will finish our quest for us, which is not good because we need more space. Nice, okay. So we should have an OTK now. Because this is two mana right now, we play this, it's now one mana. We take an extra turn. Okay, extra turn. Then we go Antonitis, Arcane Explosion. I know of it as well just to get two of the fireballs going on so we can do it a little bit quicker. Honestly, kind of sketchy, this game. I think overall I'm pretty happy with most of the decisions, though. I think the magic trick early was one that could have been like a little bit um, 
questionable. But there's a lot of upside to it, and the flame cannon ended up being good anyways. Okay, GG's. Uh-huh. 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 I think this is the first shaman I played you asked for it. in just over three hours of Arsenal today. So what does a shaman class do right now? They play a lot of things that say totem on them. And then they drag the totems towards your face. And they develop a few big minions. So what I'm getting at is none of these cards are good here. This finishes the quest, but... Honestly, like, that's probably just a keep still, realistically. The card is just good. So he's playing the Shutterwalk deck, okay. I could technically play this here if we want, but I think I just want a questing on turn two, so I'd rather play the quest here because of that. A lot of the quests you don't actually have to play on turn one. This one's kind of weird though, because if you're on coin, a lot of the time what you'll do if you're not playing the quest on turn one, and whatever quest deck you're playing is using your hero power. But with this quest, if you're doing that on turn one, then you're using the coin, and the coin, the coin actually scales your hero power, so it makes it a little bit weird for you. Because sometimes the coin hero power is pretty good, but you sort of want to get your quest done, and that sort of helps get your quest done, so... It's moderately confusing. Let's play the draw two card. The pot of greed card. Okay. So now he's going to play Dirty Rat on turn 4 and pull the Antonitis. And then we Molten Reflection. Is this C'Thun Shutterwalk Shaman? This is like 100% C'Thun Shutterwalk Shaman, right? I feel like if you have big enough balls to play C'Thun Shutterwalk Shaman, you are definitely playing secret removal cards. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I'm pretty sure if you do one, the other is guaranteed. I don't really know what I'm looking for off of this. It's probably just a bad play. I think that I want to just like play my discover this uh Trick into zero mana card is good. Let's pretend that we can ignore exactly what I just said. And that that's never going to be the case. And that he's never going to run anything that says secret deck on it. So I think a very consistent way to win with this deck is to discover all of the ice blocks in the world. Now that being said, if your opponent is playing the deck with Eater of Secrets, that consistent way of winning the game kind of just goes out the window and then you consistently lose at that line of play. That never happens though, right? We're always good at the video game. Let's glyph into something we're not even going to play this turn. Um, Dragon's Fury. We only get two mana spells. Because we've drawn uh, both the Tricks and the Ray, of uh, the Ray of Frost. So this is actually not bad here. The only problem with this is that we don't guarantee that we get a barrier. Greetings, friend. From... Oh, that's intimidating. Holy shit. Uh, you know, I was feeling kind of confident about the plays this game, but... I just got hit with a greetings friend, and I don't know, any shred of confidence I had about this matchup is just like, it's gone. It, it no longer exists. One one ML later, and I'm about to roll an ice block. Alright, never mind, we got the barrier, we're god gamers. This matchup is, oh, I am the best gamer in the entire universe. All right, we can't lose. We cannot lose. It's not possible. Um. So, what was that? And why am I not playing that? Let's progress the quest with the discovered one. I don't really want a Doomsayer.
So what we're going to do is wait for more minions to be on the board, and then we're going to go Nova Doom, and then our opponent's going to play Devolve. It's going to be good. So you mulligan the quest because you think you're playing a Seeker Mage. Honestly, I respect it. I respect it. Give him some bananas. You usually aren't well off enough to be able to attack with your dooms here. And I mean, in this case, he's either going to get silenced, evolved, or... Okay, he's one man off doing that, though. So, I'll tell you what my objective is now. To have less than six cards in my hand. Why do we draw a card that's not playable? Um... All right, well, no, it's... Oh, dude. We're getting hogged. I can't do anything about getting hogged here. We're actually just gonna get hogged on. We could, like, coin Nova, right? But, like, we coin Nova, we get the quest done. So we get the quest done ourselves at six, dude. We could, like, coin Anton or Ray of Frost or Anton. Ugh, you know what, dude? Just give me the hog, man. Hog is pog. Oh, dude. Hog riders, That's a pretty dope golden card. Alright, let's play a research project so we get him closer to his shutter walk. Definitely not a premature Nova Doom. That is 100% uh, exactly when you want to play that card. Have I talked to Sunf Glass? I have not talked to Sunf Glass in a while, my friends. I wake once more. I hope he's doing well, though. He's not playing Hearthstone, so I mean, he, he probably is doing quite well. So, we have one thing going for us this game. Ice blocks. Other than that, we have no apprentices, and we still have 75 cards in our deck that say draw on them. So, this game, maybe not the best for us so far, but just because it's not the best so far, doesn't mean it won't always be the best for us. Like, personally, I believe that he won't have a charged Shutterwalk here. That might be kind of a lie. I actually do believe that he's gonna have it. I don't need any of you. That's that's a combo. See now the power of the dark pollen. All right, well let's draw him Shutter Walker, guys. I mean, there's, it's only the right thing to do, right? We don't have Sim. We do have Cold Light though, right? I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting a headache from how Omega Brain's strategy is. Your wish is my suggestion. Oh no, 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 not the, not the remove the sea. Oh no. Oh no, wait, but that's a battle cry card. 
Oh no, gentlemen, oh no. We could draw the actual apprentice, but I think we're still not fine, right? Because then it's five, and then I don't think we get to do the time warp thing. I think we have to go like. Even if we go like apprentice. Like, even if we do this kind of stuff, I don't think we get there really. No, no, no. If we if we draw it here. We still win. Yeah, yeah, okay, good, good, good. Because we do that, then we do this. We take an extra turn, but the thing is, like, I think it's incorrect to win this game. We clear the board and we pass. I want to see his combo. It's incorrect to win this game. It's always a bad play to win. My jaws that bite, my claws that catch. <laughs> my jaws that bite, my claws that catch. That combo's too sick, dude. My jaws that bite, my claws that catch. Oh, we take that loss every time, man. That was a good game. That was the best game all day, man. All day long, that was the best game. GG's.